In this presentation, I'm going to show you the different alternatives that System Modeler provides to communicate with external software or hardware. When using System Modeler, you can export your simulations in two ways. The first one is as a standalone simulation executable, and the second is as a functional mockup unit. The simulation executable has everything that's necessary to run your simulation. Once the simulation is exported, you can run it on any computer without the need of installing extra applications. The functional mockup unit, or FMU, is an exchangeable model that can be used by any simulator supporting the standard. In the following slides, I'm going to show you three ways that you can interact with your simulation executable and the FMU. The standalone simulation executable is like any other program on your computer. You can manually run it and it will generate a result file that later you can read. But you can also start the simulation in server mode. This allows you to connect to the simulation through the network and control it. The server uses the TCP IP protocol, so you can easily connect from any software or programming language that supports this protocol. Once you are connected to your simulation executable, you can start, stop your simulation, and you can also read and write variables in real time. Now I'm going to show you an example of connecting a custom application to the simulation executable. We have created an electrical circuit consisting of a full voltage source connected to an RC filter. We have added two voltage sensors, one for the input of the filter and the other to the output. We have used a variable resistor so we can change the crypto frequency of the filter. Once the circuit is ready, we can simulate it. In this window, we can see the input and output voltage of the filter. And once the simulation is ready, we can export the executable. Now we can launch the simulation executable as a server. In this case, we are setting it to listen to the local computer on the port 3000. Now I'm going to launch the application that is going to control the simulation. Once we launch the simulation, we can see that the application plots the input and output voltage of the filter. By using the mouse, we can define the value of the resistor in real time. Changing the resistor value affects the cutoff frequency of the filter. The simulation executable can also call functions from external C or C++ code. This code can be linked to the simulation executable as a DLL or directly compiled. By using this approach, we have developed a library that allows you to communicate with Arduino boards through USB. This allows you to read and write digital and analog signals from your simulation. For example, you can read sensors, control motors, and other actuators. This is an example of the Arduino library. We are connecting two Arduino boards to System Modeler. One is used as a control panel to read a couple of knobs, and the other is used to control three servos. We have assembled these three servos into a toy robot arm. In this case, we are taking the signals from the three knobs, sending the signals to System Modeler for processing, and then writing to other Arduino board the position of the servos. This is the diagram of this demo. On one side, we have the control panel. This panel reads the different signals sent from the knobs and buttons. After that, we have a series of filters to remove some noise and make smooth transitions. The signals are sent to the toy robot arm, and the robot arm internally controls the servos. In the following video, you can see the results. As mentioned before, System Modeler can create functional mockup units or FMUs. FMUs are part of a standard that is supported by more than 40 tools. This allows you to take any model from System Modeler and use it into any other simulator which supports FMU import. In this example, we are going to take a model from System Modeler, export it as an FMU, and import it into National Instruments Very Stand. Here we can see the model of a simple tank. The model has one output showing the level and one showing the output flow. The inputs are the inflow and the actuator that controls the output flow. Once the model is ready, we can export it as an FMU. 
we have created a simple interface that allows us to monitor and test the tank model. We have also added a PID controller from very stand. From this interface, we can interact with the simulation. For example, change the desired level of the tank. Or we can also change the inflow level. And what we can see is, is that the PID controller is now trying to reach to the steady state. In this presentation, we have shown three alternatives to integrate system modeler simulation with external software or hardware. These alternatives are using the standalone simulation executable as a server and controlling the simulation through the network by using a TCP IP connection. Creating libraries that call external C++ code. In this specific case, connecting to Arduino boards to communicate with the real world. And the last, exporting functional mockup units that can be used by other simulators. Thank you for listening.